Good morning, welcome to Stone Willow Farm. Today we're going to show you how to make our farmstead cheddar cheese. It's made with two gallons of goat milk. It's raw goat milk. Um, our goat milk has about 5% fat. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit more than a regular whole milk. Uh, we put two gallons of it in our pot and then we're going to heat that to 85 degrees. Once we get that heated 85 degrees, we're going to use some Monado cheese coloring to uh, give it just a little bit of a yellow tint. Uh, we don't want a deep orange cheese, but just a, a little bit more than just plain white. I use about five drops. Mix it thoroughly. And then we add uh, a packet of mesophilic culture. We add it to the top of the milk, just sprinkle it on the top, and we leave it set there for five minutes or so, so the uh, crystals will soak up the milk. Uh, that way it, it mixes up better. Once it's been sitting there for five minutes, then I mix it with the spoon for about a minute. Then we cover it and we let it sit at 85 degrees for 30 minutes. Now after we uh, let that ripen, we get out the animal rennet and I put 10 drops of animal rennet and I don't mix mine with, uh, with water. I just drop it right in. You can do it either way you want. I have never had a problem with just adding drops. And after you add the rennet, I mix it for about a minute. After an hour, I use my curd knife and I check to make sure I've got a good clean break on my curd, uh, which means it kind of tears when you flip it over. Uh, then I use my uh, homemade curd cutter and I cut it horizontally. Uh, and once I have the horizontal cuts all done, I use my curd knife again and I cut it into about half inch cubes. Uh, the size doesn't really matter as long as they're all consistent close to a half inch.
once we got the curds cut we cover it back up and we let it sit for about 10 minutes so that the curd edges will heal up it just hardens up the curd a little bit so uh, when we uh, go to start stirring it it uh, the curds don't fall apart now over the next 15 20 minutes we raise the temperature very slowly to 98 degrees and we stir the curds After 98 degrees, you want to cook and stir your curds at 98 degrees for about 45 minutes. During this time, the curds will shrink, the whey will come out of the curds. Alright, then the next step is to drain off the whey. We have a, an electric uh, Way sucker. It, uh, it's a little pump on a, on a rod that goes down into the way and it sucks out the way out of the one pot, puts it into the other pot. Once we get the way drained, drained down to about halfway, uh, we'll dump the way through a colander into the other pot. Once all the whey is drained into the other pot, uh, we put all the curds back into the main pot, and then we add four tablespoons of salt. The salt helps to suck the uh, whey out of the curds, uh, dries them out, and don't worry about there being four tablespoons of salt, because most of the salt will end up staying in the whey. After we salt the curds, we cover it up and we leave it on the stove and we let it sit there for 15 minutes. And then every 15 minutes after that for an hour, you come back and you stir your curds. It's time to fill the mold. I use about an eight inch mold uh, and we just transfer the curds into the mold that's lined with the, the coarse cheesecloth. And at this point, it's on to the cheese press. We cover the cheese with the cheesecloth, and then put the follower on top of that, and put it into the press. And we press it for 30 minutes at 20 pounds.
after 30 minutes, we pull the cheese out of the press, uh, then pull it out of the mold. You want to unwrap your cheese, flip it over, rewrap it, and put it back into the mold. and then it's back into the press. This time it goes into the press at 30 pounds for an hour. Then after an hour, we'll repeat this process one more time, flip it over, redress the cheese, and put it in the press at 50 pounds for 12 hours. And here we are the next day. The next step is to put salt on all sides of the cheese. You want to let it dry for two days, uh, flipping it every six hours or so. Make sure that it's got salt on both sides. After the cheese dries for two days, we use our vacuum sealer to seal up the cheese. We put the name of the cheese, the date it was made, and how long it has to sit in the fridge on the outside of the package. Our cheese sits in our fridge at 50 degrees, and this one's going to have to sit there for two months. Thanks for watching.